Are you answering? Ah! Sweet mother of Partha. You can't just run up on someone like that. Are you? The human that Fenril told me about? The one looking for work? Did you think I was going to attack you? Oh, no, no. Uh, all right. Hope not. Anyhow. My apologies, human. I haven't been on the surface very long. I keep thinking I'll fall up into that sky any minute. <laughs> Bartrand used to be like that. Got jumpy every time he stepped outside. I'd pay to see that. But I digress. I need some help. Rather badly, in fact. Some product of mine has been misplaced. The men who were supposed to deliver it decided not to. If you retrieve my property, I could reward you handsomely. Just what did these men steal? <laughs> did I say steal? I don't know if I would go that far. They seemed like perfectly reasonable smugglers. They smiled and everything. The goods are valuable, however, and illegal. And my client wants them very, very badly. <laughs> you know how these Templars can be. You're smuggling Lyrium to the Templars? Of course he is. That's just bloody great. Shh! By the Paragons! Not so loudly! My word. I'm not cut out for this. I should have taken that job sweeping staples like Mother insisted. Make it worth my time and I'll help you. Oh, I will. Or I'll try to. Practically a guarantee. The gentlemen conduct their business at night in a little hovel within the alienage. If you have to kill them, then I guess it can't be avoided. But I'm sure they'll be reasonable. That's not the elf. Who is that? It doesn't matter. We were told to kill whoever enters the house. I don't make... I don't know who you are, friend, but you made a serious mistake coming here. Lieutenant, I want everyone in the clearing, now! Captain! Your men are dead, and your trap has failed. I suggest running back to your master while you can. You're going nowhere, slave. a distraction for the hunters. I had no idea they'd be so numerous. Don't worry. We do this sort of thing often. Impressive. My name is Fenris. These men were Imperial bounty hunters seeking to recover a Magister's lost property, namely myself. They were trying to lure me into the open. Crude as their methods were, I could not face them alone. Thankfully, and so chose wisely. If you couldn't fight them, why not just run? There comes a time when you must stop running, when you turn and face the tiger. That seems like a lot of effort to find one slave. It is. Does this have something to do with those markings? <laughs> yes. I imagine I must look strange to you. I did not receive these markings by choice. Even so, they have served me well. Without them, I would still be a slave. Everything Anso said was a lie, then. Not everything. Your employer was simply not who you believed. Anso's job did seem a little too easy. Perhaps the deception was unnecessary. If so, I'm sorry. I've become too accustomed to hiding. If I may ask, what was in the chest? The one they kept in the house? It was empty. I suppose it was too much to hope for. Even so, I had to know. You were expecting something else? I was, but I shouldn't have. It was bait, nothing more. All that for an empty chest? No, there's more. It's as I thought. My former master accompanied them to the city. I know you have questions, but I must confront him before he flees. I will need your help. It sounds like you intend to do more than just talk. 
Denarius wants to strip the flesh from my bones and has sent so many hunters that I've lost count. And before that, he kept me on a leash like a Canari mage, a personal pet to mock Canari custom. So, yes, I intend to do more than just talk. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be a long night. I will find a way to repay you. I swear it. The Magister is staying at a mansion in Hightown. Meet me there as soon as you can. We must enter before morning. Has left the mansion, but I've heard nothing within. Denarius may know we're here. I wouldn't put it past him. I could stand to know a little more about this Denarius. He is a Magister of the Tevinter Imperium. Oh, is that all? Nothing to worry about, then. There, he is a wealthy mage with great influence. Here, he is but a man who sweats like any other when death comes for him. What's the worst that could happen? I do not fear death. That does not mean we should be reckless. Gone. I had hoped... <sighs> no, it doesn't matter any longer. I assume Denarius left valuables behind. Take them if you wish. I... need some air. It never ends. I escaped a land of dark magic, only to have it hunt me at every turn. It is a plague burned into my flesh and my soul. And now I find myself in the company of yet another mage. I saw you casting spells inside. I should have realized sooner what you really were. Tell me then, what manner of mage are you? What is it that you seek? I'm just trying to get by. Yet I have seen many crimes done in the name of survival. If you have a problem with my sister, you have a problem with me. I imagine I appear ungrateful. If so, I apologize, for nothing could be further from the truth. I did not find Daenerys, but I still owe you a debt. Here is all the coin I have, as Anso promised. Should you find yourself in need of assistance, I would gladly render it. Your old master must want something more than just a runaway slave. He doesn't want me at all, just the markings on my skin. They are lyrium, burned into my flesh to provide the power that Denarius required of his pet. And now, he wishes his precious investment returned, even if he must rip it from my corpse. Seems like a waste of a perfectly handsome elf. <laughs> the truth is, I know nothing of the ritual that placed these markings on me. It was Denarius's choice, one he now regrets. You didn't seem all that thrilled with me a moment ago. You are not Denarius. Whether you are anything like him remains to be seen. I'm planning an expedition I might need help with. Fair enough. Should you ever have need of me, I will be here. If Daenerys wishes his mansion back, he is free to return and claim it. Beyond that, I am at your disposal. Agrigio Pavali. There are six bottles in the cellar. Daenerys used to have me pour it for his guests. My appearance intimidated them, he said, which he enjoyed. I can't imagine why they would be put off. You say what's on your mind. I'll give you that. It's good I can still take pleasure in the small things. You could have offered me a glass first, you know. There's more, if you're really interested. Perish the thought. How else would you redecorate the walls? <laughs> to leave my past behind me, but it won't stay there. Tell me, have you never wanted to return to Ferelden? I have no home left to return to. The blight is over. You could rebuild what you lost. Do you truly not want to? I have to admit, it's an attractive idea. But not now. I understand. Still, to have the option must be gratifying. You've been on the run a long time, then. Three years now. 
Denarius has a way of finding me. Perhaps it is the markings. Whatever the means, it never takes him long to follow. This is the first time I've given him reason to pause. I suppose there are advantages in numbers. Haven't you sought help before? Hirelings, when I could steal the coin. Never anyone of substance. Until you. Denarius will not give up, however. I await his return. What if he does give up? What then? Then I go to him. I will not live with a wolf at my back. Sounds like the right idea to me. If it comes to that, I doubt it will. Maybe it's just me, but it sounds like you want to stick around. I could see myself staying, for the right reasons. I should thank you again for helping me against the Hunters. Yes, you should. Had I known Anso would find me a woman so capable, I might have asked him to look sooner. You sound like you're about to ask for a loan. Well, this mansion does require some upkeep. Perhaps I'll practice my flattery for your next visit. With any luck, I'll become better at it. I've heard about the Circle of Magi outside of the Imperium, but I've never been in one. Are you certain it's wise for you to be here? Oh, I'm sure nobody will notice little old me, don't you worry. Very reassuring. This seems more like a prison. I wonder if it's more effective than the Circle I know. How is the Imperial Circle of Magi different? Once upon a time, it was as it is here. The Chantry watched the Magisters closely for any signs of corruption or weakness. Then it changed. The Magisters were permitted to watch over their own, and Templars kept only to enforce the law. What happened next was inevitable. The Magisters rule again, as powerful as they ever were. Treating every mage like a criminal isn't the answer. And not every mage deserves the benefit of the doubt. Freedom is a noble ideal, but I see no oppression here. I see fear and danger. But enough. I'm sure we came here for a reason. <laughs>